humans have long looked to the stars. SpaceX's Starship is perhaps the boldest modern embodiment of this ancient aspiration. It is a colossal vehicle designed to carry people and cargo to the moon, to Mars, and potentially beyond. The vision is grand making humanity a multi-planetary species. This isn't just about planting flags and footprints, it's about ensuring the long-term survival and flourishing of consciousness in the cosmos. Such a grand vision requires equally grand engineering. And at the heart of any rocket lies its engines. Starship is truly enormous. To lift such a massive structure from Earth's gravity requires an extraordinary amount of thrust. This immense power must come from its engines, many of them, firing in concert. These engines must be sophisticated, efficient, and reusable. The economics of space travel change dramatically if your rocket can fly again and again, much like an airplane. This is where the Raptor engine program enters the story. The Raptor engines are the technological marvels tasked with powering Starship. They have already undergone several iterations, each version learning from the last. As of today, May 27, 2025, the Starship program stands at a critical juncture. The story of Raptor is one of rapid, relentless iteration. Raptor 1 was the initial proof of concept. It demonstrated the viability of its full-flow staged combustion cycle using methane fuel. Raptor 2 aimed for increased thrust and simplified manufacturing. It powered the early atmospheric flights and initial orbital attempts of Starship. Each test, successful or not, provided invaluable data. What makes Raptor 3 different? Its design goals are clear and ambitious. First, a significant increase in thrust is paramount. Second, enhanced reliability is crucial, especially for crewed missions. Finally, improved manufacturability and reduced cost per engine are essential. SpaceX plans to build these engines by the hundreds, even thousands. To achieve these goals, Raptor 3 incorporates several key technical changes. Engineers have likely focused on increasing chamber pressure further. Simplification of the engine's design, reducing part count, and streamlining plumbing are also likely priorities. The expected performance leap from Raptor 3 is substantial. Elon Musk is not known for cautious understatement. When he speaks about Raptor 3, his characteristic optimism shines through. He consistently frames this new engine iteration as a game-changer for Starship. For Musk, Raptor 3 isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a critical enabler for realizing the grand vision of making humanity a multi-planetary species. He often speaks of the engine in terms of unlocking the physical limitations that have previously constrained our reach into space. His public statements convey a deep conviction that his engineering teams can overcome the formidable challenges involved in developing such an advanced propulsion system. This unwavering belief fits perfectly within Musk's broader approach to space exploration. He champions rapid iteration and an aggressive, sometimes breakneck, pace of development. The philosophy at SpaceX is often described as test, fly, fail, fix, repeat. While this can lead to spectacular explosions that make headlines, Musk views these as learning opportunities. Raptor 3 is the current focal point of this intense, high-stakes engineering process. He believes that pushing the boundaries, even if it means encountering setbacks, is the fastest way to achieve breakthroughs. From Musk's perspective, Raptor 3 is an absolute necessity for Starship to achieve its full advertised potential. The entire economic model of Starship hinges on this reusability. NASA, the venerable space agency with decades of experience, watches the development of Starship and Raptor 3 with keen interest. The agency is a key partner, particularly for its Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the moon. Starship's human landing system variant is crucial for landing astronauts on the lunar surface. NASA has a vested interest in Starship's success and its critical engine systems. Their perspective is measured, colored by a long history of complex space endeavors. NASA's methodology is methodical, analytical, and risk-averse. They emphasize extensive ground testing and rigorous certification processes. This contrasts with SpaceX's Agile test, Fly, Iterate model. NASA officials admire SpaceX's speed and innovation, but prioritize astronaut safety. 
Concerns about Raptor 3 revolve around reliability and performance. Meeting NASA's human rating requirements demands high reliability and fault tolerance. The number of Raptor engines on Starship presents a complex engineering challenge. NASA's institutional memory is long. They hope for the best with Raptor 3, but are prepared for inherent difficulties. The quest for more thrust in a rocket engine is a constant battle against the laws of physics and material science. Pushing for higher performance, as Raptor 3 aims to do, inevitably means operating closer to the limits. Increased thrust often comes from higher combustion chamber pressures and temperatures. These extreme conditions place enormous stress on engine components. Balancing this raw power with the need for durability and reliability is the tightrope walk that SpaceX engineers must navigate. Beyond designing a single, high-performing engine, there's the immense challenge of manufacturing Raptor 3 engines at scale and with consistent quality. SpaceX's vision requires hundreds, potentially thousands, of these advanced engines. Each one must be built to exacting tolerances. Any minute flaw in a turbine blade or a weld seam could lead to catastrophic failure. Establishing a production line that can churn out these complex machines reliably and affordably is an engineering feat in itself. It requires sophisticated automation, rigorous quality control at every step, and a deep understanding of the manufacturing processes involved. Then, there is the demand for reusability, a cornerstone of the Starship concept. Raptor 3 engines must not only perform exceptionally well on their first flight, but must be capable of enduring multiple flights with minimal refurbishment between missions. This requires robust design, advanced materials, and thorough inspection and maintenance protocols. Should Raptor 3 meet its design goals, the impact on the Starship program will be transformative. Starship would achieve its full capabilities. More payload mass to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars. Imagine launching the ISS's volume in a few flights or landing tons of cargo on the moon. This capacity unlocks SpaceX's next stage. Establishing a permanent human presence on Mars becomes tangible. Raptor 3's success enables regular heavy lift transport. Sending habitats, life support, and construction materials to Mars requires Starship's capacity. Reliable Raptor 3 engines are the foundation of this interplanetary bridge. If Raptor 3 encounters delays or fails to meet targets, the consequences for Starship could be substantial. Starship's capabilities might be curtailed, forcing a re-evaluation of its mission profiles. Payload capacities to Mars could be lower, or flight frequency reduced. This wouldn't mean the end of Starship, but it would complicate its path forward. The ambitious architecture relies heavily on engine performance. Any shortfall has a cascading effect on the entire system. The impact on the Mars colonization timeline could be significant. If Raptor 3 stumbles, it could push the dream of a Martian city back by years. SpaceX has shown resilience and an ability to pivot in the face of challenges. The endeavor itself continues to inspire and challenge us.